Brother. Brother Chaim. What a blessing. What I a can't believe get to see you right now. I miss you like crazy. Um, where I are just, you? Can you tell me where you are right now? Not too far from Gaza. At okay. my army. And so the internet's a little spotty because it's way in the south. Of course, we're mm -hmm. we live in Galilee, which is awesome. And going to the yes. hot springs and enjoying But now it's down in the south, which has its own beauty. But um, but yeah, now at my army base and about to – our guys went into Khan Yunus. Some of my guys into Khan Yunus right now. Uh, they didn't need everybody for this specific night. So I'm here waiting for – Wow. Uh, yeah. Well, you got a lot of people, and you know that you got a lot of people praying for you. And as you know, my little girl Emma is is there. She's a year and a half in the army, and you are a veteran for how many years? You've been doing the miluim. What do you call that? Reserves since you've been in the army. All the, I remember all the time as friends, you'd be like, "I got to go do my reserve duty," and now you really, um, you you old guys, you got you uh, legendary folks stepped it up and um, went back in and. Uh, I just, it's so great to see your face, man. There was a couple of times where I was scared to death for you because you were like, we didn't know where you were. Woo! And there you are. Here you are. Great God, you know, and it's, it's, what is it called? The real world goes on outside. It's like, what is it? Valentine's day in America. I don't you know. And, yep. it, it, around the, <laughs> and uh, man, when will this be over? When can we just go back to our families and the hostages will all come back. The sun will shine again. I, you know, I'm dreaming of this day. Um, but yeah. yeah, God's kept me, kept me alive, safe. I don't have a single wound. Praise I God. Mean, I have, yeah, I buried some friends, but uh, uh, it was very sad. But uh, I'd say the whole country is going through a real tra traumatic time of just, just psychological trauma, you know, mourning. Uh, weeping uh, some people are are because you know, the bomb sh bombs going off so you know they have to run to the yeah. bomb shelter that's just very very tough reality right now in Israel but can't wait till yeah. it gets back that's what we know and love amen well we are proud of you we are proud of you as the the cheer goes my, my two sisters were cheerleaders uh, I know all the cheers um, we are so stinking oh. proud of you and I'm thinking about all the good times we've had and we will have um I don't want to get your, your, you know, you still got some yeah. tasks to do, I guess, but, but it's going to be fun. Yeah. I, as a matter of fact, this week I'm heading to Tennessee in about a week and usually you're there. It's going to be weird not seeing you at the NRB, the National Religious Broadcasters Conference, which last year your face was on their website. Like you're, you're the life of the party at these, uh, these believer conferences. So I'm, we're going to miss you like crazy this, uh, this next week. Yeah, I'm I'm very sad I won't be able to make it. Very sad, but I'm just I know that we're doing the right thing. I know that this is where we got to stand in the gap. It's like if we don't stop the enemy now and and then where will it end? You know, the whole world is taking notes. The whole, you know, terrorist world is taking notes and what will they do next at the Twin Towers? Or what will they do next in uh the London Bridge? What will they do? So it's a lot of notes are being taken how we handle this and uh, I wish it would be yeah up and finish but uh i know it's definitely a thing as well yeah well you guys have done so much and uh my daughter was just telling me that when she signed up for the army you get to ask you know you you request things and they never really give you what you want but you have like your top th lists and her number one list was the base on the gaza border and i'm like okay. i'm so glad you know, you know, there's a country song that says, uh, some of God's greatest gifts are unanswered prayers, you know, and I'm thanking God for not uh, <laughs> answering my, my daughter's, uh, you know, desire to be on the Gaza border. You know, she's my princess, and I, I don't even want her in the military. Um, but you, I, man, you are <laughs> there keeping everybody safe. You're, you're making sure nothing happens. You're making sure these guys never do this ever again. And um, yeah. And yeah, we're yeah. all just so stinking proud of you. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I, I really look at, as a believer, I'm looking at stuff in a spiritual perspective as well. Like what, what's behind this? And it's, you know, it's almost Purim, right? So I'm thinking of the you know, whole story of Daniel lived in Iran. Well, it was called Persia. And Esther lived in what's now called Iran. It was called ancient Persia, you know, where they got mm -hmm. the fancy rug and all that stuff. And, uh, mm -hmm. and so I was, but why were they, why was he like the prime minister and she was the queen 
of this place. What's the big deal of, of why did the, the ruler over there get the vision of the whole history, including the coming of the Messiah? Why did he get the whole download of the big statue? Why couldn't it have been someone else like over here? Or why was Daniel buried by the, the Kaibar River in, in Iran? Mm. So, and a lot of the Iranian influence is obviously, it's because of Iran. Oh. Plus, because of Iran. To this day. Yeah. Hezbollah wow. are their, these, the Houthis, they're from, they're trained by Iran. Even the terrorists in trained by Iran. So I was looking at all this dynamic and I'm like, man, there's something bigger than just fighting Hamas. There's something, and even Haman, Haman, change one letter, Haman, Hamas. They're the same, they're the same type Whoa. of still Israel type people. And he's from Iran. That dude's from Iran, Haman. Yeah. He's, so is yeah. Mordecai. And so is Esther. And so is all these. So I was just thinking about it. And I thought, man, you know what? We got to really be praying against this spirit. Some call it like the Amalekite spirit or the just, just kill Israel type of, type of spirit. So I was reading something really interesting. And I want to read it real quick. Daniel chapter 10. Oh my gosh. Daniel chapter 10, verse 20. And so we all know about this, but it's when Daniel meets, uh, you can see, hear me. So Daniel chapter 10, verse oh, 20. I lose your video when you switch to uh, the Bible. Okay. So I'll read it real quick then. Uh, he says, do you know the angel Gabriel is talking to Daniel? Do you know where I came from unto you? And do you know that now I'm going to fight with the prince of Persia? And when I'm gone forth, the prince of Greece, Greece is going to come. And I'm going to, and so he goes and he says, note that it's noted in the scripture of truth. There is none that holds with me in these things except for Michael, your prince. So he's like, Who's Michael? Like, Daniel? Yeah. So Gabriel, Gabriel came and he met up with, um, Ga met up with Daniel, angel Gabriel, uh -huh. met with Daniel. Uh -huh. And he's like, go fight the prince of Persia, which is Iran. I got to go fight this spirit over there. Then there's going to be another big baddie called the prince of Greece. Which I think it's all like this woke movement, humanism and your own body, your own uh, kind of um, abortion and everything that relates. That's like the it's like a spirit, Prince of Greece. And so then he's like, I need my buddy Michael to help me fight. He's like, he, this guy stands with me. This guy fights with me. Michael, your prince. And he's defending Israel. So I just thought there's these two angels fighting two bad guys. And it all has to do with Iran. And are we not dealing with that now? Not just the Prince of Greece. Wow. Well, we're dealing with also a freaking Prince of Persia. Look, at Hamas isn't Greece. This is not a Greece type thing. This is a Persia type thing. So it's like two things. Wow. At us. And, the, and it just came out that some Jewish guy predicted wokeism would turn into anti-Semitism. That wokeism would eventually become anti-Semitic. And that was predicted like 10 years ago. And we're seeing wow. it. I like, never thought I'd see anti-Semitism like like today. I never thought I'd see it. I, I had friends like I have, I have, I, I wore my Israel hat out, I, it, um, um, and we just ordered new ones. But um, I wear my Galilee hat now because you're coming on. Um, but I had several friends like, hey, if you're traveling, you probably don't want to wear that Israel hat. I'm like, yes, I'm wearing my Israel hat everywhere I stinking go. Um, you know, silence is is um, is violence, as as the woke people sometimes say. But amen, oh, never right? forget. Oh yeah, yeah. And then it's, uh, together we will succeed. Yes, amen. Another one that I think is, uh, yeah. Then the other side is Halev Shalanu Shavui Beaza. Our heart <sighs> captive Beaza. Captain Beaza. Oh. Our heart captive. But yeah, so I do believe that we're going to win because Michael is a really strong angel. So is Gabriel. He's a these are really and of course the God of Israel. Is is the actual winner in this story, and we just got to recognize. Go ahead, you go. Got to recognize what? Yeah. Oh, and it's a spiritual warfare, and there's a way to beat it. Where Daniel wore, he went out there to pray publicly and was like, "I'm standing for Israel in the public," and he almost got thrown to lions. He almost got, you know, killed, you know, multiple times. And so then, mm -hmm. uh, and then this thing, Esther, she stood up and and uh, at the risk of her own life, did a prayer meeting with her girlfriends in the spa and they did a whole prayer and then they beat the prince of persia <laughs> so yeah. i really think it's going to be more believers praying, believers worshiping and it's going to win okay. this not and uh tanks 
Yeah. Oh my gosh. You're ready. Do you do you, do you think Michael the Archangel or angels are present right now? Like the same angels as were Daniel. Well, hundred percent. And what's a little bit uh, what's a little bit uh, hard for me actually in all this is I feel there's almost like a a. Uh, a veil. It's not as I want to see more macro miracles. I see some minor miracles, like just I mean, uh, the helmet we gave to my I gave to helmet to the the, the soldiers. Not even from Yalom, my unit to a different one. That a bullet hits the guy right here. It was all over the world, and it's a helmet Whoa. I gave. Then it hit, and, it, and he was fine. And the helmet I get, did its helmet job, and the guy was fine. Another guy, I was the Hamas were shooting at us, and he got it. He got a bullet right in the ceramic vest now i can't promise if it was one of the ones i gave but we gave a lot of i mean yeah. it was it was over six million shekels worth of of goods Whoa. and things just, you wow. know in the last so i i don't know if that was him but he just he literally is like he's just like keeps on going so i call those maybe my my, my what is it micro miracles but i want to yeah. see the miracles. i want to see something so undeniable where it's like the God of Israel's at work, and uh, one of those things was was. Uh, what do you think about this whole? Um, uh, what is his name? Millet, the the prime minister or the president of Argentina, and he goes and he prays, oh. all and he's crying. Like I have a video yeah. of him crying, and yeah. and I'm like, whoa! And he's really interceding at that wall, and I know it says the foreigner that comes will get his prayer. God will go oh, grant him their prayer, and then the two Argentinians. <laughs> They're the, I think the, the two main Argentinian ho hostages, I'm curious to know if there's more Argentinian hostages. I got to go look at the list, but then they get released right after prayer at the walls of, at the wailing Western oh, Wall. They were, Argentin they were, part, they were actually Argent Argentinian yeah. Israeli? Yeah, they're both Argentinian. Yeah. And so it's like, is there a correlation here? Is there not? Probably. Is it a Probably. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. I, I just know, love I love the joy that you've ha always had through everything, and um, I, I could brag on you forever. And I know you know I do, and it's always awkward for you. But um, I just, I'm just, yeah, proud of you, man. I'm, I, you're, you're my bestie in Israel, um, and uh, all the times in the Tiberius Hot Springs, hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> you're in your, your your group Zoom call while we're I'm sitting there, we're just sitting there in the hot tub. You're like. <laughs> <laughs> we're just getting some brother time in or just jumping in the lake afterwards in the winter, you know, um, we just, yeah, I missed the bro time. It's going to come back and we're going to see this through. And that's actually a really mm. good thing. When injured and they get shot, what they do is saying like, uh, they, they talk about the future. Always. The guy gets a bullet. It's like, you're doing great. You're going to be fine. You're going to go see your kids. Hold on. You're going to be just fine. We're going to take you here. You're going to go see another hundred birthdays. You're, you're a champion. You're a, you're a right. lion and, yeah. and it works and people hold on to stuff like, uh, uh, Amedi. Yeah. he was like saying when, when he was injured, they just like my buddy from Yalom. Uh, I don't know if you saw this guy called Sean and it was a while no. ago and he gets a grenade thrown on him. He blows up, but he keeps on going and it was, it went around the world. This is a while ago though. And he stays in the same tent or he did. And then he got blown up by a grenade. I mean, he's like blown up. But he kept on fighting the terrorists. Everybody else had had to, you know, pull back. But he went and, and Whoa. then he was a whole like, you're gonna make it. You're gonna get through this. You're a champion. And he did. And he actually lived through it. And uh, there's there's many who didn't live through it who who left kids Whoa. and left. But that's what we got, and that's what for us. We're gonna see this. We're gonna get through this, and it's gonna be great. Amen. Now, I appreciate your time. I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm remembering all the stuff we've done together and just real all the stuff you've done. Um, and I remember, uh, Ken, uh, or not in Kenya, Ethiopia. I was just in Kenya, Ethiopia, where you were just blessing those people. I remember I got sick. I thought I was going to die. Uh, I had one of those, that 24 hour virus where I couldn't move my body and you carried me to the sick bay. Uh, and then, uh, the, the, the day or two before that, there was a sick lady that had her back was, was bent, broken. She had to walk on all fours and we weren't supposed to touch them. That was all the rule that, that Jewish voice told us, you're not supposed to touch them. They might have scabies and all these other diseases. And you heard that she had to walk miles back home on all fours and a, a van comes by and Haim Elspin was not going to have it. He's like, stop. And they didn't stop. So Haim scoops up this lady 
uh, all hunched over, runs her up, holds her with one arm, <laughs> holds the door open. And he's like, no, no, you're gonna let, you're gonna drive her, and he puts her in the car, and they take her on her way. And that's I've seen you do so many things like that, where you're like, no, 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 I'm gonna do what's right. I don't care who's in my way. I'm gonna do what's right. Oh. And that's what scared me most about you in Gaza because. I, I'm picturing you. They're like, "Hey, who wants to go first? You're like me?" And I'm like, "Please, God, I'm praying for you all the time. Put put, put Heim's hand down. Let me go when you want him to go. You know, uh, because you're always willing to take a bullet or whatever for anybody around you. And I know that as one of your close friends. And I just appreciate you so much, brother. Um, and all the other intern center, what you've been doing there, and you know. You're a soldier, but you have a this big ministry in Israel, helping soldiers and helping immigrants and immigrant soldiers. Um, yeah. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how you do it, dude. It's 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 just the grace of God for sure. And I and I really commend you as well. Like I, of course, I miss you a ton. And, I, and I'm really, you know, we got to be holding each other up all the time in prayer. Because you know what? I was I was thinking, man, you are in a battle. Being a worshiper in this time, it's it's countering the, the kingdom of darkness, and it's 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 a threat to the enemy. It's a threat to just like we're a threat to the enemy encampments. You're a threat to the enemy, big time out there, and you're very known. So I just got to be covering you in prayer. I'm going to be lifting you up in prayer more. And uh, dude, you're you're gathering the nations, not even just gathering America. You're gathering the nations actually to understand God's heart plan and dude mm-hmm. keep up the good work and you're, you've always been that that champion bold bold like joshua you know in the bible <laughs> so keep up the good work too and and uh, you can't hey, yeah, I, yeah i can't brag about anything to sit, uh, sitting next to high mailspin but listen um <laughs> let's talk about hope for the future gather the nations 24 you think you, you can come in october for feast of trumpets oh, yeah. for sure yeah for sure Last oh show i want up. you there so bad we're going to be in Orlando this year, October 3rd through 5th, to kick off the fall feasts, Yom Tov, the Feast of Trumpets, Rosh Hashanah. Um, and, um, yeah, you, we would, we would, I would, oh, my gosh. If you came, we will, we're going to celebrate in October. Do it. Yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Either, either I get there or get here, but definitely I'm right down for that for sure. We'll blast some shofars. Oh, and you know what I just was in? I got miraculously oh. invited to things whenever i had like a break or something i was suddenly at the right place at the right time like you know i was on fox news and newsmax yes. and uh cbn <laughs> you keep popping up on, on all sorts all, all sorts of media it's amazing i don't even know how and then yeah so people have been following us a little bit and praying but i wanted to say i got to go to this uh opening of the indigenous embassy in jerusalem it's oh called the- yeah chief everyone told me about it before, when he was coming oh my gosh how was it yeah the president didn't come. I mean, I heard I heard the president of America is going to come to the thing. Uh, it, the president didn't have this, but we had all kinds of government people and everything. And they said, "Hey, it's 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 really we want to treat it like it like all the nations will eventually have relationship with Jerusalem, including the indigenous people." What really yeah. made me impressed was that the, there was indigenous people like the Maoris from from uh, New Zealand. There was the from Hawaii. There was the uh, Kuki people uh, that, that's it's a type of tribe and, and and first nations and navajo and so many people that don't necessarily have a state or have mm-hmm. a state border or a government or a parliament but they are a tribe every tribe tongue and they said we as indigenous people of course we respect indigenous judeans of mm-hmm. judah where you're from we respect sacred land we respect your sacred land i'm like how come these guys are so cool how come other people don't know what sacred lands are and respecting yeah. uh, the indigenous people of the land? And and they know they said Romans were the colonizers. British were the colonizers. You were not the colonizers of your own land. And that was very uh, encouraging. They were weeping and crying and giving their little drums and their stuff. Anyway, very uh, cool because all gather to Yeah. Drink. That's good. Wow. That's a good yeah, it's. It's, God's doing something. You know, I, I'm surprised to, you know, mainstream church. I didn't see a whole lot of stand with Israel, but the church as a whole, people were standing with Israel. You know, I guess a lot of mainstream churches were a little nervous about it, and um, you know, a little neutral. You know, I know in the Christian music industry, you didn't see a whole lot. You saw stuff, but I was, I was surprised. You know, there's only a few, you know, mainstream Christian musicians that are. Um, Really, uh, Aaron Schuster is the only one that comes to mind that that's all in on 
you know, he, he always says, you know, I read the Bible. I, I realize when I read the Bible, whenever it says Israel, it means Israel. <laughs> um, and it, it's so cool to see him just writing songs and his heart is there. And I'm sure there are others, you know, but but to see First Nations coming and standing with Israel and, and all these these people on their own, re- recognizing the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God, the, God of, the God of Israel is their God. And salvation came through Israel, through God's son, Yeshua, you know, right. in no other way. It's true. And you know what? Uh, there's this really interesting thing that is not shown hardly anywhere on any mainstream media or anything. It's the, the Arabs in Israel. Oh, they're still rooting for us. They got to do it maybe sort of quietly in like Iraq because they could get in trouble the next time they go visit Jordan or Iraq or Syria or whatever, wherever they go on their trips, their vacation trips. But those who are in Israel, let me tell you, I, I'm not going to say their name, but you even know some of these guys who were from Gaza. And, uh, and who I know, and they're like, they said, we're praying for you, man. Even the believers, the believers in Gaza, they're in touch with them. And they're like, look, we're praying for victory. We're praying for the, the whole kill, steal, destroy. That's what the devil does. They don't, they're tired of that kind of a leadership. They're really tired of that. And they're like, look, we stand with Israel. They live in Israel, but they said, we stand with the victory of Israel and, uh, and just love you. And there'll be a future for Gaza. There'll be a future as, you Amen. know, when the yes. enemy is gone. God's spirit can move. Yeah. May those precious, innocent people have a new life and build it up again without any terror. You know, as uh, you talk, every tribe, I, I, when I wrote that song, I added the verse, terror shall return to them, to the ones who harm the innocent. They better lay down their sword for the battle's not man that belongs to the Lord. I even had another verse that probably would have got my family a target that was about that had to do with uh, the Muslim uh, faith where they have a saying in, um, you know, maybe I won't say it. I won't say it. Uh, I've got enough targets on my back. But anyways, uh, <laughs> in a nutshell, I was going to add a verse, you know, uh, that, that really spoke even more directly at it. And, um, but, but yeah, terror, terror, you, you, those that live by the sword shall die by the sword. Israel does not live by the sword. They're called the Israeli defense forces. They're not, they're not launching rockets at civilians every day like uh, Hamas has been doing for how many years, you know? Um, so they, they, they're dying by the sword, the sword that they chose. Yeah, and I was so amazed. Just some of the things that even people take for granted in Israel, like the dinner, and it says, you know, a commandment, teach your children correctly, teach them the right ways. A lot of countries don't have that kind of stuff. And so the fact that Israel has that, I mean, you see what happens when they're trained in evil in Gaza. I mean, mm-hmm. they're a little mm-hmm. kid. They give them this toy little gun and say, you're going to be one day a martyr. You're going to die as a Shaheed. Yeah. And you're gonna die. it's all death, destruction. And houses oh. like that, I could go into Gaza, one house that's painted green, red, and black. And that's like a, a Hamas house. And that one's a civilian house. But it's just not like that, is it? You go to any house and you're like, well, what's in this house? Oh, bunch of people are shooting at us oh there's all kinds of guns there there's a there's a terror tunnel connected with a network of tunnels where's the regular houses a lot are just part of this thing so anyway now it's time to shift the um the uh understanding the education system the goals we put even for my own kids i'm really now challenged to talk to my son more about goals and about what he's what are his goals uh, even in America, they could all we could all learn from this. Someone wants to be a, a, a what is a, wear two chains, two gold chains. Hey, what go- if they're two? Bring me home chains. That's great. But what are the goals? What are the goals? And how yeah. do we start with our life? So and- yeah, I got my chain. I broke I broke every chain, as the song goes. The others, my my one that uh, years after we get any chain. But I got my high uh, to uh-huh. life. Um. <laughs> Yeah, but, but I, love, I love you, brother. Can you just tell us um, how the ministry is going, uh, Aliyah Return Center, and how people? Uh, I know our, our Gather the Nations. I think, I think we raised a total of one hundred and ten thousand dollars for Israel. We did our concert in Israel in Jerusalem. You came on uh, Hanukkah, um, yeah. so I know we gave a small piece uh, compared to what people were giving around the world, and you were supplying soldiers. It's unbelievable. Can you just tell us a little bit about Aliyah Return Center? Yeah, so believe it, uh, It's the Bible says it. It says God's going to gather the Jewish people from the four corners of the earth. It's happening. It has been happening some, since even before 1948, but it's just increased since 1948. It's the waves, Aliyah, 
we are here to actually give them a place a place to stay. That's what we do. Uh, Hebrew mm-hmm. school. We got seven in our Hebrew school, and they come even in the time of war. They come with with nothing from like the Ukraine, and they, they came from a war zone, and they show up here. And they need just basic food. There's a wow. there's a training center. We have the warehouse with a forklift of, of like goods. We just got a shipment. Yeah, uh, yesterday a, a new shipping container. It comes in the port. We deliver it all. We have clothing distribution center, and so also supporting the heroes. Now we kind of did an extra uh, help these soldiers who actually were so unprepared with no ceramic vests, tactical helmets, and a million other things. Uh, tactical uniform that doesn't burn when the tunnel blows up in front of you, and wow. and you don't. Wow. Your- so we we have we were able to give shoes so. Many and so I just think that this is a time where when Israel really, really needs friends and really, really needs because it's just going to be more and more because what's predicted by the Jewish agency is at least one million in the next couple of years. Aliyah, Jewish people from all over, including America uh, and Europe. You know how much anti-Semitism is in France, in the UK. If you stand up in the UK right oh. now and say, I just got back from defending the defenseless, protecting, uh, trying to rescue our kids from the heart of Gaza. They'll say, let's kill them. I mean, some pe- some people. I'm just saying there's dangers everywhere in France. There's no-go mm-hmm. zones in, in all kinds of places. And, uh, and so they're going to wow. make Alia. We're going to receive them. And we're going to continue to do so. And that's what we do. And we're trying to do a new big building right now. It's like it's like we're missing uh, – we're raising like $750,000. And we're doing this building as a headquarters and a place where we'll have our ambassador academy. It's like a discipleship school and people come yeah. and learn. Pray in the prayer house. Stay with us. So it's a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. That's awesome. Um, What's the website? Yeah. Aliyah Return Center. Aliyah is is that ancient word of ascending to the promised land. A-L-I-Y-H. Aliyah. Then Return Center. Dot com. People can go there and they can join with us. I definitely want people to get the app at the app store. Same thing, Alia Return Center. See the okay. pomegranate. That way people can really get to know us easy, easier with the app. But hey, keep up the good work with Gather the Nations. And, and I'm just seeing that this is the time. I don't know how much time we have in life. You know, how much time is, is on the scale of Daniel's vision? How much time? <laughs> These intense times we're in. And prove ourselves yeah. to be worthy of doers. I feel it. I feel. I feel. I don't know why. I'm. I'm. I'm I'll be 46 next month, and I feel like I can't stop running. Like I, I'm not. Nobody runs like Chaim Malespin, uh, but uh, I just can't stop running. Like as if as if he's going to come back any day. And I, I. I. I don't know why. I. You know. I know why. I know he's coming sooner than ever, of course. But I just feel this this pull from the Lord, like. Keep running, keep running, because people need to know and hear my name. They need to know me um, before that great, yeah. the great day comes. Yes, yes. And you know, one angel took out 186,000 people when the Syrians attacked outside Jerusalem. It's going to happen again, where the nations are going to come against Israel. And if we really think, people are like, oh, the Jews are going to suffer. They've suffered in the Holocaust. They're going to suffer again. And there's kind of this this thought. But you know who really needs to be uh, prepared to not go against Israel and be judged is the nations. All kinds of nations need to learn how to stand on the right side of history before that angel comes to the wrong because they don't want to meet that angel and be on the wrong side of where they're standing in the future. Yeah. Joel Ch- So yeah, excited about all this this um purification of the priesthood. And uh we all Amen. need it. So Amen. thank you. Work. And as a fellow follower of the great high priest Yeshua, we know he's he's the way. He's the one who brings peace. Prince of he's the Prince of Peace. Sal Shalom. I love you, man. Um, I am looking forward to being together. I'll see you before October, but I think we need to celebrate together in October. Um, God willing, the army will, will 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 crush Hamas and bring peace to the, the, the innocent people in Gaza. And we can all celebrate um, the an end to a season that was the most treacherous in our lifetime in Israel. Um, but we're also proud of you. Hey, praise God. Thank you so much for your kindness. You're a, you're a pillar. And you're a joy, and uh, and I can't wait to uh, catch up and hang out with all you guys again soon. All right, love you, brother. Hey, guys, if you're watching this, just go to aliyahreturncenter.com. Follow Chaim, one of my favorite men on the planet, my favorite guy in all of Israel. He's a close oh, second to Aaron Schust as my, as my bestest of friends. Um, 
<laughs> and Aaron and I, uh, we're like, so we're in love with you, man. And I know you were all, we're bros, uh, bros till the end. And we're, we're praying for you. And hopefully everybody's watching as well. I love you, Chaim. One last little thought is, is, you yeah. know, if they go to and they go to all the returns that are on Facebook, they're actually part of, of sharing the light. There's so many bots and there's okay. so many people. So that'll really help shine the light. It's blessing. Amen. We'll put the links uh, links below. Guys, God bless you. You've been uh, hanging out with Chaim Mailspin, the gem of Israel, this the warrior, a warrior of many in Israel right now, just north of the Gaza border. But God bless you all. Chaim, that's right. Show us, show us that weapon. Uh, <laughs> he's ready. Thank you so much, brother. We love you. Thank you, man. Talk to you soon.